Uh, proud of our team. Thought we played a good second half. Um, first half, they just made a lot of shots off second chance opportunities. Uh, I was pleased with our offense in the first half for the most part. Um, you know it's going to be a low scoring game uh, against Texas Tech. Um, but uh, I thought we came out and played really well second half. Very proud of Michael Cobbins. I thought Michael Cobbins really gave us energy, good leadership, uh, did a lot of good things for us. I'm really proud of Michael Cobbins in the game he had. and. Um, He's been playing well in practice last two days, had two of his better practices he's had in a long time. So I'm really, really happy with Michael Cobbins. Just thought he was terrific, and he's such a difference maker on our team when he plays like that. Uh, it, does, it does so much for us. And uh, um, I thought Newberry played well. You mentioned that that was kind of, you know, what you rebounding at halftime is what you really talked to them about. Well, it wasn't hard to figure out. I mean, real quick, um, half their points came off second opportunities. Uh, half their points came from one guy, um, and most of his came off second shots and them kicking it out for threes. You know, one thing you don't want to do is give anybody wide open shots. And we gave them a lot of open shots because of the second shots. They were open. And uh, we did a much better job in the second half. And getting the stops um, that we got allowed us to get out and transition the second half. And uh, I thought that was big for us. You mentioned their pace. How? What's the challenges of kind of getting ready for that? And, you know, when you've got guys that want to go, go, go. It's a challenge, but we play like that. We play like that sometimes. So I'm, not, you know, um, it, it, it's not that big a deal for us. To be honest with you, we 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 can play that way if we need to. We've done it before. Um, we've done it intentionally before. So uh, that part wouldn't be. It, but it it. You know, we know they're going to take the shot clock down. We, we had so many clips we showed our guys where they were taking shots under five seconds to go on the clock. and puts a lot of pressure on your defense because if they get a second shot, now one thing they did, they got second shots that kicked it out and made threes, but a lot of times they'll make you guard for another 25, 30 seconds. So, um, but that's, that was a big, uh, big emphasis for us the last couple of days is just making sure our guys understand how disciplined they have to be on defense and play through the whole possession and you know keep getting stronger through the possession. I thought we did that second half. We got stronger as the possession went along. Uh, whereas when a shot went up in the first half, we kind of our shoulders kind of slumped and thought it was the end and didn't come up with it. LB goes out early in the first half with a couple of fouls and sets the rest of the half. Uh, were you concerned how he would respond coming out mm -hmm. in the second half? Yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, it's tough when you don't play a lot of minutes. Um, for anybody, and for him, it's tough. You, you, it's something I told the coaches. That actually, when we came out and started warming up, we all stayed on and get loose, get loose, get going, get going. And um, I don't know, you know, prodding a little bit to get get his get get his blood flowing a little bit. Uh, but he gave us a good second half. But it's that's always a concern. It's a concern for anybody that plays as many minutes as he normally plays, and then you only get six. How are you going to be? Are you still going to be in it mentally as well as physically? And uh, that's a good question. Yeah. But we were concerned. We were we were keeping an eye on it, very much an eye on it. If he wasn't ready to go, we were going to get somebody else in there. It wouldn't. It, it, you know, it's hard to do for any player. It's hard to do, but he did. You mentioned Newberry, and after his his performance in Norman, how much did you, you know, kind of need to see him respond? The way it's good to see him respond. I, I wasn't overly concerned. Um, you know, we still got a guy, you know, between everybody, you know, talking about Newberry and Shine, they didn't do it. But they're still very new to this league now, very, very new. And um, I wasn't overly concerned. I, I know what they're made of and what they're capable of. Uh, they're capable of having some really good nights and helping us, but also they're capable of struggling on nights. We get that. And uh, we just need, again, the veteran guys to play. That's the guys we we're, we really focus on, make sure that they're, they're ready to go. And I thought Cobbins gave us great minutes. I thought Hickey gave us good minutes tonight. Last four games, I think Hickey's assist to turnover ratio is like six to one. Mm -hmm. you know, he's, yeah, he's we're kind aware of, of that. Yeah, that's what we need from him, and we know he can score. We, I think he only scored one or something tonight, but uh, but that's all he needed to do. He still got eight assists, one turnover, a steal, five rebounds. Um, if he needed to score, he would have. But uh, that's what we need out of him. That's what point guards do. When you got guys around him like he does, he needs to. We, I'd love for him to get seven assists a game. That'd be great. He'd be pretty proud of his rebounding. He should be. He very much should be. Um, it's impressive. It's impressive. Um, you know, I make sure to watch film because what it felt like to us, and we're sitting over here talking about it, it looks like, you know, but as a coach, you try to get your guys to box out, block out, block out. It looked like we were doing that. We just weren't going to get the ball. We were blocking out. Everybody was blocking out, and everybody just kind of looked at the ball. You know, 
you got to kind of do phase two, go get it. But uh, I'm anxious to watch the film and see what happened on some of those rebounds because that, that's the only thing that was hurting us. Everybody good? Anything on K-State? Everybody good there? It's kind of the first time. Second time. Yeah. And a totally different team, you know. Yeah, they're a team that's uh, obviously Marcus Foster's back and playing great basketball, and they're a team that's playing with a lot of confidence right now. A lot of confidence, as they should be. They're playing with a lot of confidence. Sports writers like 11 a.m. tips. How about basketball teams? <laughs> you do, really? <laughs> right. No doubt. Ooh. All right. No comment on my end. Basketball team's not so crazy about 11 a.m. tips. I don't necessarily mind. It's these other guys that stay up till 12 and 2 in the morning and doing all that. That's the thing I worry about. But all it is, we played, you know, we put them here at 11. It's not the greatest. I mean, it is what it is. I don't want to make too big a deal out of it. But. What do you have to do to get a, a road win? I know it's something that they're kind of struggling on the road at times this year. What do you have to do maybe Saturday? Well, you know, we got to do a lot. Um, you know, we've got to do – against K-State, you know, uh, it's, we're very similar teams, how we play, style of play a little bit. Um, you know, we've got to go on the road and really um, value every possession of – you know, we're de we can play defense. We, can, we're, 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 we have the capability of being a pretty good defensive team. But we've got to value possessions to, to not only score – and we're not going to be a team that scores 80 points a game. That's not us. Um, but our offense has got to be give our defense a chance, and I, I didn't think it did a great job of that in the last game. Um, it, it uh, and we got to score a few more points than we did last time because that gives you confidence. They get you know we started missing a bunch of shots, things not going down, and, and you can see our shoulders starting to uh, slump a little bit. Um, our last game, and that that we need to just we need to have a few more positive possessions of offense. Then defense, I think, will, will take care of itself. But they create a lot of problems. Thomas Gibson's a low down low. Nino Williams is coming off a big time game. Farkas Fox, everybody knows how good he is. And they're just a team playing with a lot of confidence right now. They're playing with a lot of confidence. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Um, great win tonight. Um, a couple guys stepped up. Jeff Newberry stepped up tonight. And, um, we was able to come out. We came out aggressive. Uh, they merit that push, and uh, we just got to learn how to put the f gas on the pedal and keep moving forward. What, what was the, the halftime talk like, and what was the difference in the second half? It seemed, you know, you guys crashed the boards a little bit more and, and got out in transition more, too. Well, basically, um, rebounding. Um, they was up on the rebounds, I believe, and Coach came in pretty upset about that, And uh, which we was up, but um, I think we got settled, and um, they was able to make that run. But second half, we came out pretty strong and made that push. You know, Jeff, for you, you had a tough game in Norman to, to bounce back tonight. How important was that for you personally? Um, I just know I need to give my team more. We got veteran guys like uh, Hick. They always on me in practice and stuff, telling me what I can do, and I'm not. I'm just not doing it. So, you know, I just took it upon myself to try to do a little bit more and play harder, and my coach is always behind me telling me what I need to do more. And just came together tonight. I was playing hard, and everything was just going right for me. What's it like when they're playing so methodical and slow? And I'm, I know you guys would rather push it a little bit. What's that like and kind of what are the challenges with that? Well, um, we just have to pressure them and try to make them turn over, play to our speed. And um, when they miss or make, we push the ball. Um, we got to stick to our tempo. And we played our game. It was a little slow on their end, but we tried to be aggressive on the defensive end, try to get turnovers and push it the other way on the offensive end. For, for you guys as guards, for either of you, do you guys enjoy rebounding? Do you guys go enjoy trying to get in there and get into rebounding against a guy taller than you, or do you just know it's something that you have to do? Well, yeah, we 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 got to help the bigs rebound because I know it's kind of tough. They got to box out, which I make it easier. Noticing my man had to get back, so I try to go in and help, and sometimes balls just bounce in my hands. I think you know the bigs get kind of jealous because I'm taking all the rebounds, but <laughs> I'm just helping them out and doing whatever I can. We heard you, you remind them that you were leading the team in, in rebound in the last few games, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, like I said, I mean, get them the credit. They're, they're making it easy for They're just boxing out that man. I'm just able to come in and just get the rebound, and then able to run on the break. So just helping them out is the best thing I can do.
Jeff, how does Anthony make you guys better? Um, like we all say, this is like my big brother off the court. Like, I'm always with him. I'm always asking him after practice to show me how to get over screens and different stuff like that. So he makes us better because he comes in every day and he probably gets, Coach Ford probably gets on him the most. He just responds to it. And he's always getting us in, <laughs> in the right spots. He doesn't let anything bother him in practice. And when you got a guy like that coming in every day, leading you and not getting the attitude, you see that he can do it. When coach gets on you, it just makes us better. It makes us motivate to want to play. He's like our little pit bull. So, <laughs> so it just makes us better. Anthony, you played in the SEC. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the Big 12 now that you've played some games and kind of gotten your feet wet a little bit? Well, um, Night in, night out. Um, everybody want to beat you. Um, can't have no no errors day by day. Um, loudest game was in Kansas. Um, never been in an environment like that, which I played at Kentucky. But I would stay at so many teams, and it's deep in this league. But um, having a coach like Coach Ford always on me constantly. Any little thing, even in the game, he on me. I mean, that made me the person, a better person, not just a better player, but developing a, a, a better leadership. Showing me the way, which he done played here. I mean, which he done played the game already. So just showing me the way, and I'm just learning as I go. And I'm trying to be the best leader for them every day. And um, just doing whatever I can to, to make my team better. Is it, is it a different challenge in the Big 12 than, than what you're used to in the SEC? Oh, yeah. Um, especially now that I done looked at the, the rankings and everybody's in the top 25. Um, we just got to do what we got to do to get back in that talk and not be just settle for t top 25, but be top 10, top 5. Jeff, here was your, your mom's birthday today, right? Yeah. Is there a little something extra for you tonight then? To uh, yeah, most definitely. You know, I kind of felt like I wasn't home to give her a gift as I usually am. So I knew that I was just going to come out and try to play hard and give her a good birthday gift because she's always trying to make it to as many games as she wants and she works so hard. So. That was really a big push for me to try to come out here and have a, at least a decent game. So, and Jeff, when they're on the two-three zone, is it kind of, as a shooter, you kind of like that, you know, because you usually get more threes off against a zone. Uh, yeah, and I've been a lot more comfortable. I always know that uh, Hick is gonna find me for some reason. Like he can go in there, and you know, he might be five eleven. I give you that inch six foot, but <laughs> he always gets in that pain and. I somehow, I don't know how he gets it out there to the corner half the time, but somehow it's coming at you straight in your hands and you know it's coming. So just being ready to shoot, um, it's been pretty good. The zone is giving us more threes. We just got to knock them down. Hey, Thanks, Thanks, All right.